Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So the Bible says in Mark chapter 16, there is a lecture. There is a lecture. After the Sabbath was over, Mary Mangadare, Mary the mother of James, brought, brought spices to go and anoint the body of Jesus. Verse 2. Very early on Sunday morning at the sunrise, they went to the tomb. On the way, they said to one another, ah, who will load away the stone? Who will load away the stone? As long as is risen, the stone is not there. To the neighbor. As long as is risen, the stone is not there. The cancer is not there. The pain is not there. Depression has reached. Is risen. It's a simple understanding. Is risen. Is risen. Is risen for me. Is risen for you. Is risen for your business. Is risen for your family. Is risen for your children. Is risen that you may be well. If Jesus was not risen, problem would have conquered us. So what should would have been tough? We would, would, oh my God, we would be sheep without shepherd. We would be wandering left and right. But I want to tell you somebody, he is not in the grave. He is not in the prison. He has been risen. He's not locked on one spot. He's no longer beholded in one body. But he has been risen so that you can partake of him, enjoy of him, share of his goodness and mercy. He's risen. Meaning everything that was beholding him, freed. Maria or Mama, the most welcome. Praise the Lord, I miss you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Doctor, you're most welcome. Are you hearing the Bible? The Bible is telling us and explaining so beautiful things here. These men, these women, had gone to anoint the feet of Jesus. Imagine you are going to quote Maria, and in your head you are saying, who will remove this court case for me? Imagine somebody has filed a divorce or a loan, and in your head, in your heart, you're like, oh my God, I'm feeling. <laughs> and by the time you reach there, and they say, actually, it's not there, I received this prophetic word. I received this prophetic word. The Bible is saying these women wanted to go to anoint. Now, I'm bringing it in the way you can understand. You can have a, a court case. You may have something that is bothering you. You don't know how to do it. You don't know how to come out of it. You don't know how to pray for your children, for your husband. You don't know how to explain your relatives. You are like these people. You don't know what to do. Mary Mangadare did not know what to do. But the Bible says he's risen. That is the number one they told us is risen. So I want to encourage you that is watching me. The court case has gone. Cancer has gone. The report of the doctors have been deleted. Hey, my goodness. You don't know this day that you are standing in. Everything is new. If you can choose to see that way, it will work for you. If you can, you can choose to see and refuse to see the way people see, then today he has been risen. But he will not be risen once pain, depression, fear has taken over you. He's not risen. But he will be risen if you let him be risen right now. 
If you allow the fear to leave you, he has been risen. Everything that has become a hindrance, if you can let it go, like this time I'm talking to you, like this minute, this hour, then he has been risen. I don't know if I'm explaining to somebody. I don't know if you understand. Maria, the Bible is telling us that Jesus is risen. But these are the women who want to go to anoint him, to keep him. Hey, he can't be kept in that pit anymore. He prophesied about his life. He spoke about his life because there is power in the spirit. There is power in the word of God because the Bible says, and it came fresh. And I am prophesying this day, your word will come fresh. Your prophetic will come fresh. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm blessing somebody. But I know I'm blessing somebody. Very early on the Sunday morning, at the sunrise, as long as the sun is arising and you are the one that is going to rise this, this, this day, I don't know where you're watching me. I don't know where you're connected. I don't know what you believe in God for, but I'm here to strengthen you, to believe in you, agree with you, and I know it's going to work out. Everything you, that has been dead has been risen. Your company has been risen. Oh my God. Your marriage has been risen. That partner that the Lord has prepared for you has been risen. Everything that you have been praying and believing, it has been risen. Because the Lord will do it for you. The Lord will give it to you. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Am I helping someone? Oh my God. I, there's no way that, I love God and I pray you love Jesus. I pray you love him. Thank you for the flowers. I don't know what you're scared that has been there that you are like, uh, how, how will I explain to people? My business have not been working, my marriage. No, today is a different story. Today is a different story. Hey, my Jesus. I'm speaking to you that has decided to give me your ears. It's going to be just two minutes and the Lord has shifted everything for your life. No, he doesn't need you a thousand times. No, it's just one connection and everything is good. These guys were, you see, one of the things you begin to doubt, that's when you keep seeing the storms, Maria. Storms are going to be there if you, are, if you don't allow Jesus to be resurrected. And I know even when he has resurrected today. <laughs> no wonder after the resurrection day, Maria, we have a full day. Is it April? They call it a full day. The first month of April. <laughs> People are still food. <laughs> and Jesus is still in the grave. And they have refused to accept the truth. <laughs> so <that's what laughs> hey. And they will be fooling so many not to believe the truth and that's why anybody that was going to fool you tomorrow <laughs> yeah? oh my god <laughs> oh god there are many that are going to be fooled tomorrow as as i'm talking now people do not know that tomorrow is a full day because you have refused god to resurrect in your life so that you can be a renewed person which are your most welcome you know your most Am I communicating to somebody? Am I helping someone? We're reading from the book of Mark, chapter 6. Everybody is cooking, eating, but there's the one who paid the price. And he does not want you to remain in that fooling days. Jesus is here in your life. You're celebrating and eating. Have you sat down to know? Who paid the price? Have you celebrated him enough? Worshipped him enough? Thanked him enough? Or you're going to wait for tomorrow's day to fool you again that he's still in the grave? These girls, Mary Mangada, 
Mary, the mother of James. They came with anointing. But the Bible says, they say, who will take this? We have the anointing. We are so beautiful. Who will marry us? We are so intelligent. We carry documents day and day. Who will give us jobs? People of God, relax. Jesus has risen so you can have a job. Jesus has risen so you can hire Nama Hobrahasia. I have a Sephelika Brahasia. I am married, but there is no fruit of the womb. Come on, people of God, today you are receiving your womb because he has the key that opens, and once he opens, nobody can close this. That's why he forgave them because the Bible said they did not know what they were doing. Because if they had known, they would not have touched him. Because he knew. The person of his power does not speak too much. Ah, ah. They were nailing him. That nail is why you are alive. That nail is why you are pushing. He does not want you to feel pain. Because as a woman, you are in your period. Why should you feel pain? Because he was pierced. I am a when a woman is going to, go, to get pregnant, to give birth, what comes first? Water. The Bible says, and when they pierced, water came, and after blood. What happens? When the water comes out, and then later the blood comes out. Jesus. But I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Am I communicating this? Somebody said, my Christ, I like your people. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> These people are so beautiful and amazing. Some women, the Bible said, they went. Have faith. Don't be limited by the circumstances. There are things that they may look at, but they are not it. What do I mean? I give it to them. I so go to cook this. And I got to my in the day. Is your imagination the devil has known and he has pressed away, but we are leveled in it because the Bible says it's risen. And once it's risen, there's nothing that can determinate me, there's nothing that can stop me from approaching a job, from approaching my marriage, from approaching my visa, from approaching my grace, from approaching the healing anointing, from approaching is risen. If the devil knows, he will not touch you. He will not touch you. But he does not. There are some of you have lost hope. They were saying, who will help us to anoint Jesus? Who will help us to give us a job? Have you carried your documents and you feel like you are tired? You're almost there, but you still have no trust. You are almost there, but you have no strength to continue. You are almost there, but there's something that is pushing you back. Don't lose hope. You were almost reaching, but they stole a stone. You were almost reaching, but they stole a stone. Are you that one? That you are seeing. But they say no visa, you're not entering. Everything has been prepared. But you have no space to continue. There are people that have everything it takes to go to Canada, America, Australia, any nation. But once they are approaching, they feel this fear, they feel this discouragement, they feel this pain, they feel something is risen. It's risen. Is risen. Mary Mangadari, Mary the mother of Jesus. They vote to go and anoint the body of Christ Jesus. The very, the very, the very on the Sunday morning. The very early on the Sunday morning. The sunrise, they went to the tomb. On the way, they said to one another, Who will lower the stone for us? 
from the entrance. How many of you are at the entrance? You are at the entrance. You are seeing everything, but you can't see that. But Jesus is no more. Oh my God. I'm here to encourage you. Because you must walk. I'm here to encourage somebody that is watching. It's risen. Don't be fooled tomorrow. Don't be fooled. I know tomorrow is a fool. I they will fool so many. <laughs> if you are among the people that will fool tomorrow, that means that you are you are still in the grave. <laughs> If they fool you tomorrow, how many of you didn't know that tomorrow is a full day? <laughs> if somebody call you tomorrow and fool you, meaning that you are you you did not resurrect with Jesus. But those who have resurrected with Jesus today, they are in the paradise. Those who have resurrected with Jesus today, they are different, their mind is different, they are awakened. Hello. I want to say I'm I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating every man of God, every woman of God, and everybody that makes sure that the online people hear the word of God. God bless pastors. God bless the men and the women of God. Praise the Lord. Pastor Derek, I greet you in the name of the Lord and I honor the anointing upon your life. Is somebody hearing me? Is the reason. Tell yourself, problem you have no power over me. Situation you have no power over me. Cancer you have no power over me. Now these were women. There were three of them. They say, who will roll away the stone? I don't know which stone is in your family. <laughs> On the entrance to your greatness, on the entrance to your gifting, on the entrance to your beauty, there is a stone. But as long as it's written, there is no stone. Stop looking the way people look and start looking the way Christ looks. Papa, you're most welcome. Papa Joel, I honor the grace upon your head, sir. And I love you. Children ministry. I honor the grace upon that ministry. Praise the Lord. Am I am I am I helping someone? I don't know what is in your family that has become a store. That anytime you want to enter, you know, these women were having evidence. <laughs> they were having evidence. Thank you for the flowers. May the Lord bless. There are many of you, you are walking left and right with judgments, but you can't enter the entrance. You are limited. But today, I want us to see it this way. The Bible has told us, it's reason. Change this mindset. Stop looking like anybody. You are not anybody. Because Christ was his own life. And the Bible says they look like Christ. They did not look like men. They did not look like mere people. You don't look like anybody. You don't look like anybody. <laughs> if we see what, if we are seeing the same, we're going to remain the same. So I have refused to see the same because I don't want to be the same like people. You are saying there is no jobs in Dubai. It's because you don't want to see difference. Hmm. You have decided to take the same way. The Bible said there were 10 virgins and five refused. Everybody was given opportunity. Everyone is given opportunity. And Jesus met them and said, what are you talking to yourselves? In this resurrection day, are you still talking about the dead things or you're talking about the resurrection things? It's a choice though. <laughs> you can choose to talk about the dead and you remain with the dead. Because it's not among the dead, is risen. If you want, talk about the dead. Me, I'm here to talk about the living. Because I'm a new living. <laughs> hey, in fact, my name is New Living. 
Hallelujah. I have decided to refuse to be distracted by any. There are many of you watching me. You are like these women, stuck with problems, stuck with situations, stuck with situations of your families. Because why? You have refused to accept that his reason. His reason. Mary Mangadele, Jesus is risen. And your business is risen. Once you, Maria, once you refuse to see the way people are seeing, you will see a different way. There are people, as I'm teaching now, they are seeing me in a different way. But there are other people saying more anointing, more wisdom, more this. But there are people who are saying, ah, ah, can, ah, can, ah, this one is just a kid. Or this one is just a friend. I, if you begin to see a person like your friend, you will miss the anointing. If you begin to see a placement, and that's what they are seeing, they say, who will lord the storm? Because you think you will do it in your own power. No, his reason, let him do it. Let him do it. He said this is why he came. <laughs> this is why he came, Sister Grace. This is why he came. So let him do it for you. Allow Jesus to do his work. For three days, you are stranded. For three days, you are struggling. For three days, everything was stuck. Come on, husband. He went down there. He frustrated the kingdom of hell. He fought a good fight. He did everything and he came victorious. Please don't put him back on the cross. Don't put him back in pain. Don't strike him twice. You know what he told Moses? He said, you strike twice once I said once. You are putting Jesus every day. You are, there are people who do not know that they are, they are righteousness. You are the righteous of God. Stop listening to the conversation of the devil, telling you that you sin, telling you that you did this. I, I tell the devil, stop reminding me. Is risen. The only word I know today is risen. Don't ask me other things. I don't know. I don't want to know any other thing. The, the only thing I want more is risen. If anybody abandoned me, he has not abandoned me. If anybody refused to marry you, he married you on the cross. The day he said, Mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. I have gone to marry. The father, father, why have you forsaken me? Hey, Amaya. Jovia, when you're going for marriage, you leave your father, you leave your mother, you leave your brother. <laughs> if you are the one being taken care, you say, My young brother, please, I have gone to marry. So please be in my location. So he said, John, now I'm married to the church. I am married and committed. Take care of my mother. Mother, take care of the son. I'll be backing you up. So, so, but from today, my duty, my purpose is the church. And you want to tell me that I'm not married to Jesus? You want to tell me that I that he does not love me? He's my first love now. <laughs> hey, before any other person comes to propose, he has proposed on the cross. I am a Marusia Daya. Hey, no wonder they are. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did you see any man come to anoint Jesus? It was a woman who knows the, the pain of the husband. He, they came. <laughs> Am I communicating with somebody? I'm here to speak to you and to encourage you. Don't lose He loves you. If Jesus did not love you, you would not have died. He had many options to say, should I pray, should I not pray? What should I say? But he chose to pray. He chose to die. He chose it for you. You know, is what he means in Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar. He has not forsaken you. Your father, your mother can forsake you, but him, he has not. He went on the cross. He went very far. You're not to be in the grave for three days. 
not even to the grave, to be ashamed. He received the, the, the disgrace that we have not even reached a part of it. For who? For you. And you are ignorant of not knowing it. And once the devil knows you don't know your rights, there are people who don't know that in the name of Jesus they are healed. There are people who do not know by his stripes, by just knowing that knowledge, you are just free. And the devil has kept you on medicine. There's no day you don't take medicine. If it's not medicine for headache, it's medicine for stress. If not medicine for stress, it's medicine for depression. Not medicine. You have different kind of medicine. So why did Jesus suffer all this pain? And why are you a believer? <laughs> I'm being honest. We have free medicine here. That before you go for physical medicine, there is spiritual medicine. But we, do, we don't wrestle against flesh. There are people who are eating medicine and even it is worsening. I'm here to say his reason. Mary Mangadare, stop seeing like that. Stop seeing pain. Stop seeing sickness. Stop seeing a broken marriage. Start seeing a good marriage. Start seeing a good husband. Start seeing good children. How you see it is what will be. The more that we are thinking and seeing the storm was there, storm has never, it would have, it stayed, not rolled. I'm going to show you. Oh, Bahasi Yamai. How many of you read about the woman that was kept in, caught in adult? How Jesus defended that woman? Number one, it's because she focused on Jesus. You are focusing on the storm. That's why you are still seeing them. If you focus on the headache, I'm teaching you through experience. I don't teach what I don't know. I give you only what I know. What I don't know, I don't give you. Because me at all, I don't know it. If I know it, I'll bring it. I teach you the literal knowledge that the Lord has given me. So that you can also know about it. I don't give you what I don't know. And I will not come here to stand to teach what I don't know. I will give you what I know. Once you focus on that pain, it can't go. It can't go. It is a matter of faith. Romans 10, 17, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing. They had faith. They were carrying oil. But oil was not working for them because in their heart they were doubting. Oh Lord. They still had, they were looking for who to, to, to remove it. You have the oil. You have the prophetic. You have the strength. Why are you looking for another person to do for your business? Do it. Do it, child of God. Arise and shine, Dr. Promise. Arise and shine, Maria. Arise and shine, Betty. Arise and shine. You are looking for somebody to, to take away pain. You are the one that is in charge of it. Speak the word of God into creation. Declare the word and shift the mountain. Shift it. You're looking for somebody to take iron. Imagine. I was listening, is it this, this great woman of God that died, Catherine? She was looking for something to love her. Yet she was a carrier of the romance of the Holy Ghost. Imagine, you're looking for someone to love you. Yet you are the professional in that course. You're looking for someone to heal you. Yet God is telling you, you're the one that is going to be healing the entire generation. Oh, Lola. Imagine the, the brothers of Joseph. They did not know that they had a, a brother capable of feeding them, but they were looking around who will who will see. May the Lord open your eyes that you may not betray people that love you. May the Lord open your eyes that you may not conspire people that have been there for you. Many of us, we are so in pain, walking in stress, walking with wrong negativity, with wrong passengers because we have chosen to go in the wrong boat.
because of mercy. Look at Judah. The twain, a man that gave him a practical, a man that gave him a, a, a name, a man that introduced him to greatness. He chose to abandon it for just a small man. I may the Lord give you a sight that is beyond understanding. I pray for you. May the Lord give you discernment spirit. And many of us were lacking discernment spirit. And we are in a wrong boat. And we are living the right boat. No wonder when Peter understood that he had almost lost a boat that was so merciful, so powerful, so good, he said, No, I need this boat again. No matter how the situation is, don't allow the enemy to take away your relationship with the Holy Ghost. Don't allow the enemy to chase you from the church because once he chases you from the church, he has you in his hand. No matter how the matter is, you're going to matter somewhere. No matter how the matter is, you will matter in some matters. And I want to tell you, Mary Mangadare, matter, they did not matter in our location, but in this course, matter began to remember, even now I know, if I can push, if I can see, if I can speak, if I can see the different dream, as I saw for my, for my, for my brother, my Jesus will be risen again. This is the same matter. This is carrying anointing. Anointing of evangelists, but the devil said, No, you will not take this evangelist. Anointing to bring more people to know Christ Jesus. But Satan was like, There is a stone. There is a stone. There's no stone anymore. There's no stone in your family. There's no sickness in your family. You will speak about Jesus. You will announce Jesus with your business. You will announce Jesus with your beauty. You will announce Jesus with your passport. You will announce Jesus with your children. You will announce Jesus in any cause that it may be. Because everything is already paid. And you have even extra in your hand. But the devil does not want you to see it. Because he has hooked you on one and distracted you. Mary and Martha, they were distracted. Look at you read for me, or Maria, or Mami. Can somebody read for me? Verse one. Yes, Mami. The book of Mark. Yes, please. Amen. We're in the book of Mark 16, hmm. uh, from verse 1. Yes, the Bible says, After the Sabbath, was over mm. Mary Magdalena, Mary the mother of James, and mm. Salome brought spice to go to mm. anoint the body of Jesus. Mm. Very early on Sunday morning, mm. at sunrise, they mm. went to the tomb. Mm. On the way, they said to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? Praise the Lord. Who will introduce me? <laughs> People of God, you have the introduction already. <laughs> by the time you left home, by the time you went for that job interview, you have everything that takes to receive that job. But you are scared. You can no longer speak very well because of the people you met. They have become a storm suddenly because the person you loved so much. Now you are shaking. You cannot speak what you have to speak. And the devil is trying to apparise to the comprehensia. I come in a name that is above every other name. Is risen in your life. Is risen for you. Is risen for your case. Is risen that you may be well. Is a reason that you may partake every good thing. Suddenly, a storm came. People that came prepared, people that came prepared, Maria, people that came prepared, suddenly, a storm came. Storms are not there. Storms are created when they find that you cannot resist them. Storms are created when they find out that you are not able to resist them. So they make a storm. Fear, as long as fear has you, you are finished. It, there is a way it jams your eyes that you begin to say wrong way. 
There is a way it gives to, to torment you that you begin to speak wrong things. But once you have the confidence in Jesus, the Bible says, Sadrach and Mr. Jan Abednego say that God is able, God is able, even if he's not to come, I know I still trust him. There is a process, but he's coming. He's coming. Daniel prayed for 21 days. He said, whether it is delayed, but I know, hey, Mariko Siprakatos Elentia, even when Hako Sekereka Paradus Elentia Brekatusia. And your Gabriel was restricted by Satan. But Daniel kept praying and believing until Angel Michael showed up that Angel Michael was released. Jesus is released. He cannot be whole. You can Nothing can behold you. Nothing can behold you anymore. I'm seeing a woman you have been depressed. You cry, 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 cry. Today the Lord is setting you free. The Lord is setting you free from depression, from rejection by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, he's taking away the tears, he's rubbing away the tears, and he's giving you people that matter in your life. In the name of Jesus, I came to speak about the resurrection of Christ Jesus in your life. The power of the resurrection, the grace of resurrection, the intimacy of resurrection, the knowledge of resurrection is risen in you. He said the kingdom of God is within you, but the devil has blinded you from receiving the truth of resurrection. Hmm. Who will lull away our family problem? Who will lull away our stress problem? Who will lull away? They were asking. There are some of you have lost hope. Strength to continue. You say, who shall I call? You have gone through your phone. You say, who would help me? Is it Mami Penny that has a problem? <laughs> Is it Smea? Is it Brother Nicholas? Is it Sister Betty? You say, who will help us? You say, if I go to Sister Betty, if I go to Rita, she'll give me excuse. If I go to Vera, she'll give me excuse. Say, so now who will help us? My God is my helper. The Bible said, I look upon the mountain. <laughs> I didn't see any help come. I look into my family. I did not see any help come. I knocked on people. Nobody was willing to open for me. I waited. Nobody was willing to come. But when I lifted my eyes towards heaven, I saw totals of heaven. I saw the resurrection. I saw the help come. I saw the visible reader. People of God, focus your eyes on Christ Jesus. I and he's a finisher of all things. He's a finisher. He began and he will finish. And many of you are looking upon the mountain. The storms have become mountain. <laughs> you have been looking at the mountain. Oh. <laughs> Last time I was listening to doctor's teaching, she said, that man that was at the wheel, what was he hoping to get? Because the people he was looking at, they were also lame. Stop looking at the people that are looking like you and begin to look at people that are not looking like you. People of God, change your seeing, change your reasoning. You cannot be looking like the same and you expect this, the different results. No, change the way people are seeing. Leave that ball that is not taking you anywhere and begin to be with people that can encourage you, push you in prayer, pray with you, business matters, ideas, and stop running around with people. Stop forcing yourself. If people love you, love them. If they don't love you, please leave them alone. Uh -uh. Jesus said, if we bring peace and you don't receive it, we have a right to live. And the Bible said, woe unto those that the word of God came and they refused it. Woe unto those that peace was knocking and they refused to receive. Woe unto them. There is a war already. Because we came to love you. Re you, you rejected us. We have tried every at any way to make sure that you are becoming our friend. You have refused. So I take my peace. There are people you have tried to show you love them, but they are mingling around you with your heart. Please, excuse me, sister. 
package yourself. Don't disgrace us. Ah, you can come and cry to this side. Oh, ah, ah. brother, stop mingling around Claire. Stop mingling around Judith. Stop mingling around people. Please package yourself, brother. He said, I look upon the mountain. Does my help come from there? No. Ever since you have been your father's help, where has help come from? Ever since you have been with that person, has help come? There are some of you who don't know why you're with that person. Maris Eleko Pratia. There are angels that you have abandoned because of your stupidity, because of your greediness, because of your stinginess, because of your selfishness, and you have failed to see the goodness in them. Judah was one of them. He never saw any goodness in Jesus, and he missed him. What about the 40, the, the 40 prophets that were with Elijah? They never see anything in their father and they missed the mantle. They kept on that alone. They never knew other realms. His reason. I refuse to see the way other people see. I start seeing a different way. I don't want to stay with people that are not taking me anywhere. I want a change. Jesus wanted a change. He said, Peter, don't become an hindrance to my ministry. Peter, don't become a hindrance to what the Lord is saying. He said, I will die. Peter said, you will not die. He said, you are resisting what the Lord has said. There are some of you who have refused to take steps because you're scared. How long? There are things that must happen. No matter how you're scared of things, they will happen. No matter how you're scared of things, they will do what? They will happen. No matter how you're scared of the things, they will happen. They will happen. They will happen. So take a step of faith. Take a step of faith. Take a step of faith for his reason. He did his own. Do your own. The Bible says there are those who did not see Jesus. But because of pain, because of that, they had opportunity to reach unto him and speak to him. One of them was held. He desired to see Jesus, but he could not. So he had opportunity to see him, but they brought him to his chambers. There are problems that will introduce you to people that are so right. I'm telling you. Maureen in Germany, you're most welcome. There are things that will hey, Some of you had problems. If it was not the death of Jesus, we will not be here. There are problems that are going to open doors for you that your families could not open for you. The problem of the pit that, that Joseph was in, it was a step up for him. Oh my goodness. That woman who was catching adults, where would she meet Jesus? Number one, Jesus was surrounded with scores of disciples. How would she come? How would she explain herself? It was the problem that introduced that woman to Jesus. It was the problem that introduced that to Jesus. So there are problems that are coming in your way, not because they are bad. It was the problem, the fish, that Jonah refused to go to Nineveh. The fish drove Jonah for free <laughs> to Nineveh. Oh, my, oh my. That Some of you never wanted to work. You never wanted to study. But you are in church studying. You run, you run away from school. But today you are in the ministry. You are studying. You are humbled. You thank God. <laughs> Promise wave unto me. <laughs> Maria wave unto me. Winnie wave unto me. You are reading the Bible by force. You, you, you never wanted to wake up. At three, you are awake, Maria. Kapate. She kapayata. But the teacher was always saying, Maria, please wake up. Your friends begged you to wake up. You refused to wake up. Is reason. Is reason. Is reason. Is reason. Ama kubahasia, bradus elekom brada, shaparis edetea, inko rus apaya, belis elente, zakus apaya, merika tos eperadia, yigabara radia. 
start going with people that are pushing you. When you find a ministry that is prayerful, join it and pray. When you find people encouraging, join there and be encouraged. Don't hook yourself from one spot and you are dying there. Am I hearing somebody there? Who will load away the stone of our family? Who will speak for us? There are some of you when opportunities come. You say, who will speak for us? God is saying you are the one. You will go and speak. You will go because I'm willing to give you the word to speak. You say, you are like Moses. Opportunities have come. But because the enemy has given you another version of you, you cannot talk. How long will you let people in the wilderness? How long will you let people in the wilderness? Opportunities has come. Greatness has come. Ah, oh, Yanama has. How long, Maria, will you keep people in the wilderness? How long? Many of you have been given opportunity. But you say, who will speak for me? I don't know Arab, I don't know English, I can't speak Swahili. Try the one you understand. Go with the language people speak. See about that. God will give you what to speak. It's not the devil, it is your God that you are trusting. It is how much you know of God, that is how much you will know of you. How much do you know of God? The reason why the apostles were doubting is because they did not know how much of him. But those who knew how much of him stood. How much do you know of him? How much of, 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 of scriptures do you know that I can serve you? It was a very large stone. A very large stone in your heart as I'm talking. There are many large stones in your heart. Very large stones of depression. Very hard, hard, large stones. Large, they have expanded. You cry overnight. In the morning, you cry. Lunch hour, you cry. Evening, you cry. Tomorrow, you cry. Like the whole month, you are crying. If they ask you, why are you crying? You don't know. What happened? You can't tell. But you are just crying. Satan is the devil. Every, every stone that has become a problem in my life by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the resurrection, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every big stone that has been refused to roll off on the entrance of your greatness, on the entrance of your increase, on the entrance of your visa, on the entrance of your marriage, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command in the name of Jesus, let that stone be rolled off, be rolled off, be rolled off in the name of Jesus. Stones of miscarriages, stones of denial, stones of stress, stones of pain, stones of longevity, Storms of pain, Marcosiperedia, storms of cancer, storms, Keteliprahasia, every stone in your life, every stone in your family, every stone that has limited you from reaching the destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command in the name of Jesus, let that stone be rolled off. There are stones in the ministry, of people will never grow. There are stones. Tears. Stones of divorce. Backward stone. In Kabahaska. There are people that have been with passport, there is no visa. Even they are going in the second passport. What could be this? It is a hole. If anybody has a sister or a brother that they have never traveled, you will connect in this prayer. It's the fact that I wrote that stone. Road that, and there are some of you, even when you travel, you can't go back home. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every storm standing before us, 
every hindrance that has become a problem. That anytime I want to progress, there is a storm I'm seeing. Anytime I want to go up, there is a stone that is before me. As I lift my hands above my head, I begin to see the stones gone. Because all I can see is Jesus. All I am focused on is Jesus. All I am seeing is focusing it, is fixing it, is fixing it, is fixing it in the name of Jesus. What, what was the stone in the days of Moses? Fellow was the stone. Fellow became a stone. He became a stone. He became a stone. You will see Jesus. Nobody will stop you from encountering Jesus. His time, his promises are yes and amen. His grace is efficient. He has not failed us and he cannot fail us. He's here to help. Don't look at me. Don't just look at my face and say, what is this person speaking? I call it the grace. <laughs> I may not know English. I may not know grammar. You know, the Holy Ghost does not know grammar. How about all the others? Dila Bahati Bahaya. Oh, Shele Lebra Hasun de Lekaya. My Jesus. Who will load away that speech? That load. I'm seeing people say, hey, this month, I we are starting. And somebody say, I even Apple is here. Who will help me? The landlord. There are some of you are scared as you are entering Apple. Say, I Apple has come. Because they gave you a deadline. If you don't pay, they will take your house. They will take your mother. They will take everything. Oh Lord. The Bible says in those days was a man, a man of God by the names of Elisha. And the woman came and said, hey, my husband was one of your sons. And he said, right now they have come to take my son because there is a stone I cannot roll over, a stone of loan. And the man of God said, what do you have? What do you have? He said, I don't have anything, but there is something at home. People of God, there is something within you because Mary, Martha, they did not go alone. Some of them did not go alone alone her. They had anointing her. They presented anointing her. They carried anointing her. As long as there is anointing her, you can stop any other thing, but you cannot stop anointing or the woman of God. You cannot stop the prophetic on my head. You can stop any other thing, but you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. You can stop any other thing, but not the anointing her. The Bible said they tried to stop David. They tried to stop David. They tried to silence see her. But there is anointing that spoke better things than me. There is anointing on my head. There is anointing on my family. There is anointing that prophetic cannot be stopped in the name of Jesus. You can stop any other thing but not the anointing. Jesus was anointed. He said, this is the way I was anointed. He said, I came to bring peace. And he was anointed for this. The, the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he has anointed me. Oh my God. The man that is anointed cannot be kept. We, uh, we have been in the month, my glory cannot be hidden. And I'm telling you, your glory will not be hidden. Because there's anointing on your head. And there's anointing in your family that cannot be shut. As long as I know what resurrected Lazarus, it was anointing on the head of Martha. It was anointing that they were willing to put on the feet of Jesus. So this was the covenant and the partnership that they had with Jesus. So she had come to a new the partnership, but there was a stone. But as long as you carry the gift, there are things that cannot be stopped, people of God. Once you carry the gift in your hand, there is something with which you thought protocols will be broken. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost, as you are here as a sacrifice, to hear me, hear me very well. There is something that is happening right now, and I'm praying with you, and I'm believing with you, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that one that is left is moving right now. That one that is sick is going back home because we are speaking about the resurrection. You cannot be sick on this day because the Bible says as he rose, there were many people that were, were rose with him and those that saw them in the hospital 
restore them in the spirit testified. You'll be the witness of this prophetic. You'll be the witness of this platform. You'll be the witness. You say, my friend spoke about it. This woman spoke about it. This lady spoke about it because I know what I'm speaking. You cannot be here and you will not receive a testimony. It's a lie. You did not stop you on this TikTok to hook you for no reason, to put your data. Maybe you are going to watch a movie and the Lord said there is the girl on TikTok. That's all there. Maybe there is a stone I need to remove. But it is the only the sacrifice that the minister is going to stay there. Connected as she finished to speak, you go back and check. The visa has been released. Your pregnancy is taking in. It did not take Mary some minutes to get pregnant. People of God, there are things you have been doing with your husband, maybe. And there is nothing that has been happening. But through day to day, there is a resurrection of those children that the enemy had hooked in the grave. Right now, the Lord is releasing them. Right now, release your, receive your twin. Receive your visa. Receive your encounter. Receive your grace. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. There are things you have been praying for a long time. And they have been on hold. But there's the one who went there, carried everything, opened everything, and left the kids in the house. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Salvation, Lord, is upon me. It's upon me. It's upon me. For the Lord has anointed you. You are anointed, you cannot keep in poverty. No matter how, if, the, if, if your village people let them like, they tried everything on David. The more they tried, the more they were bringing David in the palace. The more they, 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 they plan to separate you, the more they knock you cross with you. The more the disappointment, the more the connection. The more you are disappointed, the more you love God. The more you want to serve God. The more you want to come close to God. The more you want to worship God. So there is that anointing that draws men to him. There is that anointing that draws men to him. You are asking yourself, who will roll off this problem? Who will take away this thing I have, I have found myself in? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Stones are rolled off. Then they look up. Tell the neighbor, look up. From the neighbor, look up. They say, Jesus, you are looking up. Focus on the things of God. Don't focus on the things of the earth. Although we are in this earth, but we do not belong to the earth. I want you to focus on that one. On the finisher of every good thing is the one you will focus on. Doctor, give me verse 4. Is Maria Mami here? Maka Bahasa. Elebra Somebody here. Mark chapter 16 and verse 4. Please. Kaba hasuni. Li brahasayam. Li ko brahasun de le brahasun. Melish ali la hus abaya. I ko brahasun de le brahasun de le katya. And somebody hear me here. Oh Jesus, we love you. We love you, Holy Ghost. We love you. Doctor, can you hear me, please? Maureen, can you hear me? Can somebody read for me, please? Okay, I read. Mark 16 and verse 4. Hallelujah. The Bible says, on the, on the way, they said to one another, who roll away the stone from us, from the entrance to the tomb it was a very large stone. Then they looked up and they saw that the stone had already been rolled back. Every hindrance has been rolled back. Every hindrance has been rolled back. Every situation has been rolled back. Every limitation has been rolled back, Christy. Everything that you have been thinking about that is not possible to go to death, they have been rolled back in the name of Jesus. They looked up. 
My prayer for you tonight, as I'm rounding up, is to look at him. As he's, ra he's, he's rounding back, the, the backfires, the pains, the limitation, the fellow, back to the center. Back to the center. Back to the center. As they looked up, oh my God. Then they looked up. There is a den. When you have tried and struggled, there is a den of looking up. Stop helping God, Maria. Stop helping God, Maureen. Stop helping God, Rita. Stop helping God, Winnie. Stop helping God, Smea. Stop helping God, Mwiza. Stop helping God, Benina. Look up to Jesus. 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 Young man, look up to Jesus. Then they look up after the struggle. Why the struggle? Why are you struggling? <laughs> Once again, I honor every great man of God and a woman of God and every minister of God that is watching with us. May the Lord bless you. There are people that are struggling. And if you would have given everything to Jesus from the beginning, you would not have wasted that time. Am I communicating to somebody? There are some of you, you first go to the hospital, some of you first go to, to help you, your friends, they have wasted too much time. And when you say, Jesus, do it for me, it does not even take a minute. How many of you have consulted your friends? How many of you have consulted your, your knowledge? How many of you have consulted and you have wasted time? But when you took it to Jesus, it did not even take one week. Where are they? How many of you have consulted your fresh, your power, your, your authority, your connection, and all in vain? You know, Sandra can make such an abenego. They said, they said to themselves, we will not trust in our power. Is the one. What about Sebra? What, what about Daniel? He said, I refuse to be part of this, but I will remain in the part of God. Understand your goals. The problem why things are not working is because you don't understand the one you're following. You are still valuing him because you don't know that today he's resurrected. He's resurrected. You still count him among the dead. He's not dead anymore. He promised you, he told you, but you are still doubting, maybe. I should look for him in the dead. Maybe my miracle is still in the dead things. No. Your car is already there, but you need to go and stay. Last time I preached and I said, your check is out. You are the one who has refused to cast out your check. Your check is out, but it needs you to sign on it. Everything is given. But go and, go and collect your check. Correct your check. You are in a wrong banker. <laughs> That's why the entrance has refused to open. <laughs> you are taking the check in the wrong bank, Maria. And the check is bouncing, bouncing, until you go back and focus your mind. You say, ah, now B, now check, you have to be in uh, A, B, C, D. And you are in Dubai Islamic putting the ATM card. The ATM card is saying, leave me alone. I am not supposed to be here. Hey. How many of you, your ATM is in the wrong bank? Your ATM is in the wrong bank. You are trying, you have figured, you have figured it, you have tried it, you have done everything. The bank, the card has refused. Because you are in the hurry for destruction. You are in the hurry for storms. You are in the hurry for stones. You are in the hurry. Am I communicating to somebody? If you take a check in a wrong, that's what these people were doing. They had a check, but the check refused to, to, to cash it up because they, they were in the wrong bank. You are in the wrong bank. Am I communicating to somebody? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can somebody hear me? 
Somebody said I don't hear me. Think your network. Makaba has the anamaya. Am I communicating? The Bible is speaking to us. Mary and other two were carrying anointing. How can anointing refuse to work? <laughs> the Bible, can I say something now? The anointing will refuse to work when it is not on the right person. And God cannot make that mistake. Because the Bible says when the man of God by the names of Samuel was about to anoint the brother of, of, of David, God said you are about to make a mistake. So God knew if that anointing goes on that man, it is forever. And he cannot do anything about it. So he made sure he said, not that one. Don't be deceived by what you see. Praise the Lord. So he was about to give a check to the wrong person. It refused. And for that reason, the Bible says, <laughs> the Bible says, Kama Hasubaya. The Bible says that he could not sit until the right owner. Hey, I, I am the right owner to cash out today because he's risen. Hey, as long as I carry the grace of God, my check will be cashed out. Every check that has been delayed because you never understood. Maybe you do not have a knowledge that it is your check and the devil has hooked you in a wrong bank, yet you're supposed to be in the right bank. How many of you, when you have a ticket, the ticket says you're going to Uganda, you are on the wrong you will be running like a marathon to go that you don't miss that check. <laughs> imagine, Mrs. Obim, imagine you are coming to Uganda. <laughs> then you discover you're on a wrong airport. I'll tell you a story. Mom, I was going to drop my sister one time. She had come to visit us. <laughs> we went to the wrong terminal and how was we are moving <laughs> my goodness and there was a storm by the time i came the police stopped me are you seeing storms now i i abandoned the car i ran inside and the car was not mine <laughs> by that time it was a friend's car and that car had problems i didn't know the person never told me <laughs> trusting too much is a problem also Praise Master Jesus. Because you can you don't know what you can land yourself in. Now I went to the airport. Now my sister was crying. But me that has God, I'm not saying she doesn't have God. But her faith, I saw her and I said, hey, 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 hey don't cry here. Here in Dubai, we don't cry. Mariko <laughs> Sibraha Sendelebraha. I was speaking in the capital letters. I said, Holy Ghost, help me. Let me just, I rushed down and I will ask the person. And the person directed us. So I rushed my sister because for me, I can settle them. But for her, she was about to miss something very important. So I made sure that she cuts her flight faster. And I told the guy that the detective. I said, please drive straight. Make sure she goes to this terminal. And I settled with her. So I went back to face the storm. Ah, the storm almost finished me. <laughs> they sat me in one in, in one corner. <laughs> and they began to ask me, bring the owner of the car. And I'm calling the person. The person said, Penny, no, no, I can't come. I'm busy. But I said, please, bro, this is your car. Me, I can go, but I don't want to leave this car. Come with all this. Can I tell you, people of God, I didn't know that God is a wonderful God. I don't know how it happened, but the, somehow the person looked at us and he said, just go. Oh, may the Lord on my big. I, I remembered her when Elisha spoke to the king. He said, if it was not for the the king Jehoshaphat, I would not have come here. There are people when you are with in the boat, God will spare the boat. But there are people when you are with in the boat, God will kill the boat. As long as Jonah was in the boat, the boat was about to be to, to be killed. The boat was beginning to be bad. But the moment Jonah left the boat, the boat began well. People of God, he's risen. He's risen. Jesus said, Don't touch them. You are the one that you need. May you have friends. There are people who say, all of us, we did this matter. <laughs> yeah.
Yana Mara dia das ya. Dia people by that time they have they have they have they have they have escaped, they have gone. But Jesus said, You need me, take me, leave them, spare them. May God give you friends that will stand in the matters of, 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 of problems. In a situation where you need people to stand, to speak for you, to encourage you, they will stand, you will see them in the name of Jesus. Is reason. And is reason to stand with you. Is reason to help you. Is reason to guide you. Is reason not to embarrass you, but is reason to show you the right way. This is Jesus. Am I helping somebody? So which check do you have? And which bank are you going in? You are in the hurry. <laughs> Am I communicating? Tell the neighbor, but wait, which check have I been checking? You don't go to one queens. You went and bought one clothes for one baby. You have a problem. You don't go, Father, this is the kind of man I want. But right now where you are searching, they are, they, they are saying we don't understand you. Am I helping somebody? <laughs> oh, River has ya. Check the check you have and check the bank you are in. They don't match. Praise the Lord. How many of you that you know when you put that card, bank card, within a minute, the money will be shared, will be will be given to you. Or put the wrong password. Why am I going even very far? <laughs> they will even block it for disturbing them. It is your own. It is your own, but they'll do what? They'll broke it. Because they say in this one, if, if you have knowledge, <laughs> you don't do that nonsense. But because the devil has hooked you somewhere, you are not even able to see that you're making a mistake. Let the neighbor that I'm blessed tonight, even if we stop here. I hear number of the others. Let the neighbor check it out. Check it out. Aye, does it feel like you there? Read for me, Mark 16, verse 4. Maragadia. Cabra Sudia. Macadabrasia. Amen. Mark 16, please be up on this house. Greetings once more. Amen. Again. So, Amen. the book of Mark 16, mm. verse 4, Mama. Yes, please. It says, but when they looked up, they mm. saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. Wait, 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 it's for Josephine now. Imagine Josephine. You are supposed to be in Dubai more, but when you see like this, you see more of Emirates. <laughs> wrong location sometime. Some of you are in wrong locations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody help me. Your eyes are stuck somewhere, but you are supposed to be somewhere. Or you are even in the right entrance, but the name, how you are reading the name eh, is upside down. Is it Dubai more or more of a minute? Dubai more or more of a minute? Dubai more or do, do. <laughs> Please mention your own more where you are, not mentioning where I'm, I am. <laughs> am I communicating? Is it Dubai more or more of Emirates? Dubai or more, or more of Emirates? <laughs> Mention you are more where you are if you don't understand what I'm saying so you can understand in the spirit with me. Amen. I'm trying to explain. Sometimes you may be standing before the helper but because you are seeing the shoe. <laughs> you are seeing the shoe as a gardener, but you're not seeing the person as Jesus. Even when Jesus was elected and so Mary, Mangadare. The Bible says, say, I'm looking for Jesus because she's thought he was a gardener. May you are taught, taught well, not taught like a gardener. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My God. My God. Am I helping somebody? Once you miss a direction and you miss your sight, you'll be seeing wrong things, even when you're in the right environment. You begin to see wrongly because that's the devil wants to distract you. Distract you. Once you're distracted, you make a mistake. Seriously, like that. Once you are distracted, but it's, it's just one minute and everything has begun so bad. 
Go on. Imagine they, they have anointing. You have money that you can't buy. Praise the Lord. They had tickets, but they were limited. They are so beautiful in their family, but nobody marries them. Nobody can come to the entrance. Because as long as they are coming to the entrance, they say stone, they go back. Last time we had Dr. Prams one who was saying that somebody was on their way to give her sister a birthday. He met a storm. And he said nobody's at home. <laughs> and, the, and the man reversed. <laughs> so somebody's waiting and somebody has reversed. And you are praying, God, send me a helper. A helper came and found a stone that hadn't the heart of a helper. And a helper by, by, by what? <laughs> about hand. Is it the right English? <laughs> if I'm speaking the wrong English, please forgive me. That's the one I know. Don't kill me. <laughs> if I go to German, Maureen will teach me. Amen. Hallelujah. And John chapter 20 and verse 14, 15. He said, she turned to leave and saw someone standing there. And it was Jesus. But she did not recognize him. May the Lord give you a sight of recognition that you recognize people that matter and you recognize people that have been there for you you recognize the right husband you recognize the right man you recognize the right mother you recognize the right pastor you recognize the right church you recognize the people in the name of jesus and he said dear woman oh we are the dearest women here Aye! Your husband has not even called you dear since morning. And Jesus is here addressing you like dear. Come for Jesus. <laughs> dear Misa. Jesus is saying. <laughs> you are there crying. The, has, the boyfriend has had to break you, not told you anything. And here in the Bible is for free. God forgive you. <laughs> dear woman. I think men are copying from Jesus the way he's writing. <laughs> dear. Let me read it for you. Okay. Dear Murray, dear Promise, dear Nyawele, dear Rita, dear Josephina, dear Justice, ah, no, 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 they didn't say Justice, dear Winnie, <laughs> dear Vera, <laughs> people will kill me today, the way I'm enjoying, ay, all the women, ay, <laughs> I think tonight I should just minister to women. <coughs> when we when we reach where Peter ran to the, you know, there are men who even who doubt. Even after they told Peter that Jesus uh, had resurrected, he still doubted. Uh -uh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Congratulations to women because we are the first people. Oh, Jesus had resurrected too. I'm Maria Masuya Namaya. And we're the one who corrupted the, the, the garden. We need to speak to him so we can agree with him for the garden to be restored. Without a woman, garden will never be restored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are too wise. I'm telling the truth. It was through the woman that, isn't it the woman who ate the fruit? This time, you remember the woman gave to the man. This time it was a man to give to the woman. Come on, men, 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 I'm clapping for you now. Men, men, you are doing it right. Last time you let women do it. This time let you do it. Hey, it is both sides. You didn't understand it. And you are in the heart of Pastor Justice. <laughs> I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying this teaching. My God, hallelujah. Am, am I communicating to somebody? The Bible says when you go to Genesis, it was a woman. Naturally, women are not supposed to be giving their husbands. Praise the Lord. They're supposed to be contributing because they are helpers. But this time, this time Eva was the one who gave Adam. And many people of God, it is not Adam. Adam did not do it. It was Eva who ate. But now Jesus understood if it remains like that, eh? if it remains, even, you know, in the days of um, Queen Vasta, praise the Lord, that the husband said, he could, the woman refused. Now Jesus said, if these things remain like this, praise the Lord, let me change it. When Jesus came, he said, no, it was not supposed to like this. We are the one that give the women. Men, where are the men in the house? <laughs> We are 
are the one to control here. We are the heads, not the tails. We are the one that the commanders are. We are the one to speak and the women will listen. So Jesus said, woman, my dear woman. Ay! So when you want to, to, to give to the woman something, please put dear. <laughs> no dear, we don't accept. <laughs> Ay! Praise the Lord. I am Maya. I am Maya. I'm just enjoying tonight. How many are you enjoying this teaching? It's, it's quitting me. Read for me that scripture. Let, let us read it. Isn't it the resurrection? We are, we are resurrected from where? Mm. From this distress and depression. Thanks, Master Joseph. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mark, Mark 16, 4 says, Mm. Are we reading the dear mama? Yeah, read you. Read. Okay. But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, mm. which was very large, had mm. been rolled away mm. by saints. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white robes sitting on the right side, and they were armed. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, then they looked up. I just want you to forget about the stress, Josephina, Maureen, the grass. I'm just speaking English. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to speak English. Okay. So I'm just trying to speak the English. So you can understand me now dear women and dear men okay this is what the lord is speaking right now amen if i if you don't understand my english please we are sorry amen we, we're sorry hallelujah so the bible says and they looked up on jesus they looked up, they looked up, they turned. You know, once you turn, now Josephina, now you're looking at something, right? But when you look now, you see me. But last time you were seeing something, right? So you could not see me. Once you are focused on the problem, you never see the solution. But once you let this one and you say, ah, you see the beauty. How many of you, if you are inside and never go outside, you don't know, you never know what is outside until you go outside. But things are moving outside. But you are saying things are not moving. So who is not moving? <laughs> it is in your mind because you, you have refused to move. You think everybody is in your category. It is a lie. People are moving. People are eating. People are doing every kind of things. It is in your circle where the devil has kept you that you see like you are just like everyone. You are not like any other person. Is somebody hearing me? There were three women. One, re, one. By the time now, remember they came. One spoke, and this nowadays they began to ask themselves, "Okay, Sister Josephina, who would help us?" And Josephina said, "Sister Maureen, who would help us?" And Sister Maureen shifted, "Betty, who would help us?" <laughs> so they were spending more hours asking themselves. Who would help us? But they had the solution with them. Look up. Read the word. Read the location and leave the location. Go to the right location. I pray that you don't go with foolish people who cannot even help you to tell you you're in the wrong location. <laughs> Everybody's seeing the same thing. Everybody's blind. Everybody's deaf. Nobody can tell the other say, ah, Sister Maureen, ah, uh, uh, this is wrong. Allow people to correct you when you are wrong. They looked up. Then they looked up and saw that the stone had already. What is the meaning of already? Those who have studied English already. Already is it in the past or present? <laughs> past. But they are still there. There are people who have the, the report of the doctor from last, in fact, 1992 that they gave the mother. So 
So they have been all their life. They have been moving with, I have allergies. They told me our headache is permanent. It can never go. So you shifted. <laughs> There's a thing I come and laugh. It is okay. <laughs> I, I, have you here? People have traveled, done everything, but they carry a report that their mother told them. So as they meet their friend, they say, Mio, no, we don't eat meat. My mother told me that ever since, I, you see, even a new generation, you have entered, you are still speaking the same thing. When will you change? Satan has given you a negativity that you have moved with it and you have refused to see the opportunity that the Lord has given you. Is somebody hearing me? There are people in their in their in their carriage that they can't drive car. Because Satan told them that they, they only have bicycle. <laughs> so they cannot have a car as long as they are concerned. On a bicycle or with barrel. If a bicycle is better, with barrel. <laughs> but it's the reason. Is a reason that you may enjoy all these things. Hello. Is a reason. God wants you to enjoy the richness, the riches of the kingdom, the harvests, the progress, the miracles, the wonders. Is somebody hearing me? If it was not so, he would not have told you in Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. My children, me and my children, we are of sons and what? And wonders. And he said, these signs and wonders shall follow them who believe. So I'm a sign on the wonder. And you're telling me that in my generation, they say we'll not drive a car. To do hell with sat Satan, I'll drive it. <laughs> Let me be the first person to, 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 and e, any demon that stands, I knock you. Hey, yes, I knock you. Then we'll see what happens. Am I communicating? So Jesus is risen. Is risen for you, for me, for entire people. But if only you will refuse to see the way other people see. Is somebody hearing me? So today you would enter everywhere you have to be entering. Because anointing cannot, cannot be stopped. Put it in your mind. I'm anointed for greatness. I'm anointed for miracles. I'm anointed for change. I'm anointed. And apart from that, you are carrying extra anointed anointing. Is somebody hearing me? You can't. These women understood sacrifice. They came with a gift to see Jesus. And the Bible says they were even given opportunity to receive news from the angels. May you encounter people you didn't expect. Praise the Lord. They saw the angel. They saw Jesus. And they took back the, the, the information. Everything that you have been waiting for a long time, God will repackage it, God will introduce it, and God will give it to you in abundance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 5, read for me, Josephina, praise. Amen. We are in Matthew, um, Mark 16, 5. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe mm. sitting on the right side and they were armed i don't know how to say the lord amen six says no no wait. Don't. Mm. hallelujah once a stone of fear is gone you'll we'll see where the people cannot sleep well now Hey, as you're sleeping, you're counting the loan that you received. Two times two. <laughs> you, that, you that failed mathematics, this time you are not failing. You can't sleep well because you're, you're scared. Am I communicating? You can't, you, can't, you can't relax. Your mind is at ease. As if somebody taps you by a mistake, you're mentioning a bank. <laughs> You're measuring a bank name. Uh -uh. 
come down, the stone is what? Is rolled back. Is rolled back. Betty, the stone is rolled back. Read that scripture. What you are scared has been rolled back. What you are fearing is rolled back. It has, it has not even reached you. It cannot affect you. It has tried, but he's risen. It came late. Don't certain you came late because he's risen. So there's ay, the stone that had come, the stone that came to limit them from entering to enjoy the angelism, to enjoy the information, to enjoy the grace. It was rolled back. Mine says, let me read it. Then they looked up and saw that the stone had already been rolled back. Already. Miscarriage rolled back. Cancer rolled back. Already. Sickness rolled back. Alone rolled back. It is you that is scared, that is still in that mindset that is there. You are the one even put it uh, another stone. And the one we rolled off was the very, the one you are putting, we don't understand. It is you that understands it alone. <laughs> For me, as I'm concerned, no stone. As I look at you, no stone. You, you say, Mama, my pain here. No, I don't see it. Let that one who is seeing it go and remove it. As I'm concerned, you are my daughter. I've been praying with you. I don't see it. So whosoever is seeing it that is prophesying to you should go and tell you how to remove it. See past that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let the person remove it. As I'm concerned, you are healed. As I'm concerned, you are moving forward. As I'm concerned, the Lord has said this. So whosoever is giving you, that also that person help me on that, on that journey. Is somebody hearing me? Jesus spoke to them. He said, I will die. That's the reality. But I will resurrect. Somebody hearing me. It doesn't mean if I had a problem that it is not going to go. Then I'll be mentioned that I'm a woman of problem. Ooh, whatever I'm, I'm going, I'm a woman of problem. Ooh, whosoever meets me, I'm a woman of problem. Mom, <laughs> for how long? I was in that problem. I was in that frustration. I was in, yes, but I'm no longer there. Praise the Lord. If you want to be Naomi, be Naomi. Me, I don't want to be Mara. Somebody hearing me. And they say to them, and, and when they went in, I want to read this one. And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. Me. Anything that is a hindrance in your life, let it be rolled back. How many of you have read the story of Moses? When fellow was rolled back. How, were you not enjoying that part? <laughs> it is almost catching with you, but it rolls back. Oh, God likes the aura. I think God likes the movie. <laughs> this is the latest movie, Roll Back. I, I think the Holy Ghost was just standing like this. Let, let me see how these people are going. And when they, 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 it goes back. I, I am enjoying this movie. Ay, you need to move, you need to that to watch that movie. The rollback of the water, the rollback of the storms, the rollback of the chotters of the fellow. The, uh, how fellow was almighty, how he fallen, how he was always that makeup they did from morning, yet he was going to die like a rat by the power of the Holy Ghost. Satan, you'll be disgraced in the way you don't even understand. You will be smashed like a dust. You'll go back to the iron armor. Who's ever here? They just wake up in the morning, make noise on you. God, God just didn't know that the stone would kill him, as mind as he was. <laughs> and you will still stand and you'll be anointed once you kill god yes you'll be a governor you'll be a general because he's risen am i communicating somebody don't be scared of god yes. the one that is in you is better than god yes. god yes is nothing good. i thought i thought that we would just Use all the five stones. No, David did not want to waste the resources. <laughs> all waste power. There are demons at three, you should be sleeping. Mm -mm. I'm telling you the truth. Am I communicating with somebody? 
you wake up by 12, you declare you go and back and sleep. Did you see Elijah shaking? He said, we have too much. The problem, you wanted too much because you are blind. <laughs> the manna is too much, Josephine. Stop worrying. My father's house is enlarged, is expanded. It's not expired. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It is you that is seeing expanded. Now I'm seeing expanding. He said, the plans I have, Maureen, are not to kill, not frustrate you, to give you an expected end. Things that have no ending. The wine they tested, the person asked, he said, ah. I thought that the, the tongue, the, 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 the trial, God will cause governors to speak things that will, the contract will be signed on your wedding. God will give the, the, something they will drink over, automatically something will change within them. Those that have been your enemies, they'll begin to give you contracts in the name of Jesus. Because they don't know that you invited somebody. Before you invite any other person, write a letter, dear Jesus. Dear Holy Spirit, dear the Father, please, we invite you. This is your card. The problem, you do like people too much and you forgot the one that is very important. He said, I become less as you become more. I become less. Let him first become more. Because the key is that the Lord is, we are stealing ourselves. Did he go with anything? Did you see Jesus go with the Lamborghini in heaven? You're the one just here disturbing us with dust. <laughs> greed is a sin. Ay, people are too greedy. Am I communicating? I want to round up then. And... Oh, sweet Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So they entered the tomb where they saw a young man. May you see a gentleman. Ay. I don't know if one got married. I don't understand. That one is for another way. Praise the Lord. Let us focus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And they said, my God. And when they went in, they saw a young man seated on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were full of wonder. May you see wonderful thing, wonderful thing, wonderful encounter, things you will speak, things you will speak. Maybe you didn't have what to take because they say, who will roll over? But they want with a ring. Who will roll over? But they want with invitation. Who will roll over? But food was enough. Who will roll over? Maka Zubras Eleconia. Hey, they, were, they were filled with wonder. Full of wonder, wonder, wonder. Hey, Josephine, read for me for the one for promise. Ah, Yanamarosia. You may have come to Penny Kingdom with nothing tonight. As somebody steps into your life, you say, Honey, huh, forget about that. Swear so. Me, I'm full of wonder. Because <laughs> I'm carrying a wonder tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying twins of wonders. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying glory of wonder. And I'm here to share you a wonder. For I am a wonder. Jesus. Mm, read for me, Josephina. Amen. Five, mm, do I start five or four, Mama? Five. Five. Mm. And, and when they went in, they saw a young man seated on the side right side dressed in a white robe and they were full of wonders wonder Ooh. now listen i love this when you go back they say and it was of great size your problem is of regret title but what is inside is of great wonder <laughs> it knows you are great you are, you are, you are about to encounter great wonder so it is a great size of problem so what you are going to encounter depends. Oh Jesus! Oh, you know, let me stop here. The problem.
problem you are facing. It is how big the wonder you are going to encounter. The problems you are seeing right now is the great wonder that is waiting inside, inner. It is inner. So you have to first fight the, the, the great size so you can encounter the great wonder, the great wonder, the great. Oh, Jesus. No, let me leave TikTok. I come this side. Oh. No, let me focus here. <laughs> uh, things you don't give TikTokers. They are TikTokers. They will TikTok me. They will steal my testimonies. Once you read the word of God, I didn't see this. And I've not read this one. But every Easter I read this one. I don't want to lie that I sat down and I prepared a sermon. No. I told the Lord I want to talk to my children and I want to bless them. Stop helping God. He said his reason, right? Ah, I want to test his reason. So I'm here to test his reason. And he's here teaching us. Because he's among us. He's a, he has gone ahead of me. So why should I disturb myself? Anybody that goes ahead of you knows they are ahead. He knows every he knows the way. So you are just following him, right? He has gone ahead. Praise the Lord. Josephina, if you go ahead of me in your home, I will not struggle. If I reach there, you will say, go and pick my penny from the airport. I, I don't need, but if you don't go ahead of me, there is a struggle. I'll be stranded. I'll be wondering. I'll be asking. If now Maureen, she's not in German, and I just enter German, I'll do her. But now she's in German. How can I be stranded? I am not Maradia. Even if doctor cannot pick me from Saudi Arabia, but there is a way, there is a way she can help me. She can direct me. She can give me knowledge. She can tell me how, because she has been in Saudi Arabia, she knows some things of Saudi Arabia. So he's ahead of me. So I'm not, that's why you're, you're just hearing me. I'm here. And they looked up and they saw that the stone was rolled back and it was of great size. Because there is a great wonder. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, not even a great wonder. Full of wonder. The other one was just a great size. This one is a full wonder. It has no compared to the size of the problem. It has squared it. It has overtaken it. It, it has messed it up that it has been forgotten. Hello. When Elizabeth got pregnant, she said, the Lord has taken away my disgrace. So my pregnancy has squared the disgrace. My fear has been squared by the testimony. How I many of you, when you get something, you're scared, you forgot about it, even tomorrow you have rent? <laughs> In fact, you, you, even your catwalk has changed, your mikwalk has changed, your twikwalk has changed. Hey, Josephina, when you are going to meet us, how were you that day? You felt like you are in heaven, like you you are going to meet, like that day was like if somebody just tell you something, hey, you would even slap the person. <laughs> that is what the Lord wants to give to you. Is somebody hearing me? So why are you worried? And you see, the devil has made people to miss this teaching. <laughs> and I'm not going to repeat this teaching because I didn't record it. <laughs> but it will be on tick on YouTube. I'm recording it on YouTube. Somebody hearing me. So the great size of problem, Mori, those are the great full of wonders that you are carrying. The size of the problem. Eh? Did you see the size of the problem David conquered? Those are the thrones you are staking. Am I communicating with somebody? And I say to them, do not be troubled. And he say to them, do not be troubled, Maureen. Do not be troubled, Josephina. Do not be troubled, Nicholas. Do not be troubled, Justice. Do not be troubled, Rita. Do not be troubled, Smeya. Do not be troubled, Vera. Do not be troubled, Rebecca. Do not be troubled, Doctor. Do not be troubled, Winnie. Do not be troubled, Penny. Don't be troubled. Hello. If they were not troubled, even in seeing their grateful, they were so troubled. 
But he said, no, 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 no. Don't be troubled. This one cannot be touched. This one cannot be taken. This one. I'm going to show you something. And the Bible says, <laughs> you are looking for Jesus, right? You are looking for a baby, right? You are looking, but if you are looking, look well. Stop looking your baby among the dead. He's not there. Your son is not among the dead, Maureen. Your visa just is not among the, 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 the denied. No, 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 no. There are people who are saying, oh, God, that's how your mindset is. Are you hearing me? I don't know when I was in prison. I told myself I'm not going to be deported. Not because I was right. I had a case. Praise the Lord. And that case could take me back home. Deportation. In fact, it was for to jail me one year and deportation. But I, I told my friend that before my birthday, I'll be out. Because every month I celebrated this as my birthday. I don't know why. I just loved it. I have too many birthdays. <laughs> I don't want to. Yes, because I like to make birthdays. I love to, to celebrate myself. You that has one birthday, that's your problem. Me, I have too many. Even today, I can just wake up in the morning and I just make a birthday. And that's why it is too shocked for you to see people celebrate. Say, my petty birthday. You want to celebrate me when I'm dead? Buy me a cake, buy me a dress. Anytime, any day you feel like, do it. You may not have money to buy me a cake on my birthday, but you have it now. Don't want to give and that's Josefina when you don't have it. You have it, give her. I say, Josefina, sister, I may not have this money on your birthday, but now let me give it ahead of time. So you don't feel offended. It, things can turn around. But I've already done it. So I, I, I like to do that. And you see what I said, it helped me. And the Lord considered it done. Praise the Lord. But I had done the work of God. I prayed for people. We prayed in that prison. And I did not know about the Bible by that time. <laughs> that why it is written that said and, 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 and they went to the... And I had not read about it. So when I came to the prison, that's when I understood the scripture that came fresh. Somebody hearing me. When I was in the prison, before I went to the prison, yes, I have to, I love to fast, I love to pray, and, but I was this born, you know this born again? Who <laughs> <Ooh>, love God? <laughs> you know, does it feel like you understand? I just love God, but I am sinning. But I'm, I just love God. But I can drink. But I just love God. <laughs> I love God. Eh, how many are those? Like, you love God. Truly, you love God. <laughs> but some things you don't do to God. Eh? But you, you love God. So I was like that. It's a process that God, the Bible says, you can't give yourself to God. He chooses you. He chose you. There are people who have tried to give you, they say, wait, you have not repented enough. Because if, <laughs> if I carry you, no, be in the entire process. And that's why I don't, I don't force somebody to do something. Once you are free, doing, stealing, doing, you will come. We will be waiting for you. But we pray that your soul should not. I, if you have understood me here, if you want to give, give. And unless I see that you are going, I will come and talk to you. But I will preach, teach, if you want to give. <laughs> if you don't want to give, but me, I'm teaching until God captures you, eh? The Bible says, and Paul, as known as Saul, he signed on the death of Stephen. <laughs> so he was not captured. Even when Stephen preached and talked and spoke, Paul was not changed. He signed the death. But the Bible says after the signing, he was captured by God. Are you hearing me? So it is good to have an encounter with God by yourself. It will be so easy. It is, don't let men convince you. Be convinced by God by yourself. It will be so easy. Those people who are saying, why am I giving God? You have not had an encounter with God. Those people say, I, I don't have time to pray. Oh my God. I am busy with my work. You are still captured with your work. When you encounter God, eh? 
You will leave. You will not even question God. Where are we going? No. Matayo counted coins and coins counted him. <laughs> and he, he looked at the coin, looked at the coin, he looked at him, said, he said, carry one. He dropped them. There is something I learned when I was reading about the calling of the disciples of Jesus. Jesus could call one, Josephina, and another one could call another one. I want you people to go back and read. He called Andrew. And Andrew was a brother to Peter. Andrew was the one who called Peter. Jesus never called Peter. But Peter became a rock, not Andrew. Actually, we don't know Andrew. <laughs> and don't be jealous when your friend calls you. And then your friend has been made great. And you have not been made great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Am I communicating? Did you see that? It can help. 